So we are here once again with uh, Ilkes and town boss Martin Carruthers after a pulsating match against Stanford. Martin, what were your thoughts after that one? Very disappointing again. You know, it's another four goals conceded at home. You know, defensively, we're, we've, we've been a shambles. You know, Bar Sutton Coldfield when we had a clean sheet and, and a, a really good defensive display away at Belper on New Year's Day. You know, you think you've turned the corner. You know, we're back to our old selves again. You know, conceding a cheap goal from, from a corner, two free headers. You know, the first goal, our right back's got sucked under the ball. Uh, you know, the, the third goal, three minutes into the second half, it's come from a long throw in into the striker's feet un- unprotected. And it's just, it's basic schoolboy stuff. And it has to stop. You know, I tried to make changes at half time for us to try and win the game. Took a defender off and a midfield player to go 4 3 3. You know, and, uh, you know, Cole Lambert had a good chance to start the second half. Kieran Fenter gets a free head home and we have a chance to go 3 2 up and, and we don't take him. And then we're 3 2 down and we're, and we're trying to chase the game. And, and we often puffed and, you know, I thought we're, although we were slightly better second half, you know, we, we, we weren't clinical enough in, at the right moments in the game. Stanford clearly a good side, impressive throughout, but how much do you feel you played a bit too much into their hands at times? Certainly first off, because we defend too deep. You know, we, we, we speak about the importance of distances between the ranks and, you know, when you defend deep like that and balls into their striker too easy, the runs from their, from their wide players, clever movement, clever players, and, and we couldn't live with it. And, and, and to be honest, we could have been two or three down at half-time and we get the penalty just before the break and we get back into it and you think that'll give us some impetus. But, you know, unfortunately, we haven't got enough players that are brave enough to, to get on the ball and play and try and control the game. And, and like you say, when the chance has come, you, you have to be clinical. And when things are not going well, you know, you get the penalty and the, and the throwing goes against you. And, and, and when you're down there, you know, you have to keep grinding and fighting. But, you know, Stanford are a top side and, and they're going to be one of my tips to either win the league or, or go up via the playoffs. Still a work in progress for you, isn't it, after a few weeks in the job? Where, where do you think, I mean, you've obviously talked about defensively, but yeah. is, that, is that your main area of concern? Is that where you're going to address first? I mean, what's your overall thoughts on the first few weeks? Again, in, in terms of, of personnel, I'll sit down with, 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 with Cliffy and the owners, you know, um, after the interview and, and, and see where we go with it all. But, you know, it's been really frustrating because, we, we, you know, we have got quality players who are just not performing to the, to the levels that we require, you know, and it's too much inconsistency. Yes, confidence is a, is a big factor, but, you know, with the, with the support that we get here and, and the fans, you know, it's like an extra player. And, and what we're serving up at the minute is certainly not good enough for those, those fantastic supporters. Five games without a win, but you're still in and around that playoff area I mean is it just about getting a win or two under your belt it's a bit of momentum and you can still be challenging very much so you know um, you know it has been an horrific run of games against some real real decent sides uh, the run of games now you know looks a lot more you know appealing on the eye and you know it's down to us now and, and uh, a win does wonders for confidence and then you pick up that momentum and, and go on a run but you know it's going to be after we won one hell of a run now you know, and, and the players, you know, have got to stand up and be counted. Have Stanford, if anything, given you a bit of a something to aspire to there today? Is that the sort of thing you want to achieve, or are you not really? No, no, no. C- certainly, you know, they're, 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 the formation that they play, their their movement, their link up play. It's it's how I want my teams to play. You know, get on the ball, play through the thirds, play into your striker, good movement off the ball. You know, the lad Morgan threading balls through to to strikers, delivery into the box. It's everything I want from my football teams, and you know we've got a long way to uh, to go to get there. You go to Sporting first uh, next week. Did you anticipate then making more changes? Obviously, uh, Melanius Maleki came in today. Yeah, I think I pronounced his name right. Um, ben Squires on the bench. Yeah, obviously you lost a couple as well. I mean changes all the time do you expect maybe more for next week or are you going to try and keep it uh, again you know uh, you know after speaking with the players we had a good positive meeting and you know we, we tried to keep the, the, the same team after a, a positive performance against Belper and you know too many players didn't perform to those standards and, and that's the frustrating thing you know the, the, the dip from you know performing so well to to to, to average you know is, is something that we, that, that we need to look at because like you say they certainly can play um, to a higher level but it's just maintaining that consistency certainly at home when you know you should be winning games and, and, and grinding them out away from home OK Martin thanks for your time Cheers thanks